Hello everyone, Lou Forsmith here. It is Friday the 12th of January 2024, almost half past 11 in the PM. I was having some computer issues and it turned out I needed to just update the um, computer so I could do the, um, the um, system update. And it works a little bit better, so it's fine. I'm going to talk about DSP today. I know that it isn't Saturday, um, but um, I do have a bit of a backlog of... Um, Lull cow videos, so I don't want them to get too outdated. So it, I got, I want to touch on um, three things. One's probably minor, um, but it looks like there is going to be a DSP documentary um, that Mike Clum is um, making. Same guy who did the Boogie 2988 documentary, which. Um, I haven't seen yet. I I actually need to get around to watching that. Um, Late La Party, but it's the same guy that that did um, the um, Boogie documentary, which um, <laughs> that kind of made Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight look worse. And I'm pretty sure if this dear DSP documentary goes through, then it'll probably make him look worse as well. But we will see what happens. We know that um, Mike has been interviewing detractors and um, trolls of the DSP, so um, it's going to be a bit of a shit show for him now. <laughs> um, it turns out like apparently DSP didn't want his wife to be in the documentary, so it looks like she might not be in it. However, um, this brings us up to point two of the um, of the video. There was a special stream a couple of days ago, a few days ago, um, and um, DSP made an announcement. So when he turned the camera on, there was Cat right there on, right next to him. Big Cat, she put on some pounds. Not gonna lie. However, I will say this: she is kind of attractive still. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not gonna lie. She, she is quite, quite, quite still attractive. It is a shame that. Um, she's living with Phil. I mean, to be fair, who the hell <laughs> would want to live with him? But um, it kind of makes the um, the divorce rumours um, non non-existent because in unless unless they they are divorced, but she's just like living there as like a roommate, just for like for like the money, just just to 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 eat with him, like use some of his money I'm not I'm really I'm really not quite sure what the hell's going on but point is she she was there with him and it was the first time we saw her in like five six years um and yeah she has changed a lot um she did look a bit uncomfortable not not gonna lie she didn't look like she wanted to be there um she didn't really speak as much i mean he did all the speaking like he, he sounded like he was he's in the controlling mood um in in the stream but yeah it's it's a little bit of a mess but uh, there you go what what it's, it's this is this is dsp we're talking about so everything's going to be a mess now everyone's saying and is me included that um he wanted her to be on the stream um, because he doesn't want her to be in the documentary so when people found out that she wasn't going to be in the documentary or may not um, people are saying is she still alive is, is she still with Phil speculating that the divorce arc was real and obviously he put he, he put her on the um, stream to show people yes she is here she is alive She's not pregnant for some reason because like, apparently like people are saying that like, is she pregnant? No. Um, but yeah, that was just a way of saying yeah, she, she's right here, but she's not going to be in the documentary. So here she is, and just wanted to make sure you know that she's alright. And she did look fine, a little bit uncomfortable. So yeah. Um, and now for the possible, well, to be fair, not really minor thing. Um, DSP has been stealing content for his um, throwback channel. Mm. He stole a video um, that was from a w over 500,000 subscriber channel, and he didn't really like do anything to make it look like his. All he did was basically take it from this channel, put it up on his channel, and that's about about it. He he, he did like I think he did his like v VO over over it as well, 
but it, it was a throwback channel so it was a um, all, all of his old videos on a new channel essentially a little bit upscaled but there you go um, so yeah he is stealing content and um, not doing a good job at hiding it so um, mm, this is gonna come back to bite him one day I'm pretty sure I mean he he was no he, he, he was always no no good at keeping things secret and keeping things hidden I mean to be fair like he's always saying oh he doesn't do um, WWE champions when we have like leaks bank leaks and all, all kind of leaks like we, we even got like we even can view his username on it and how how much he's been on it he does it every single day and he spends hundreds almost like a thousand dollars all all the time trying to unlock these new characters and doing that and all it is is candy crush that's essentially it he's spending hundreds on this candy crush clone it is is ridiculous it is really ridiculous He's just a sad little man. The one thing I'm actually hoping for in this documentary, if it gets made, if it gets approved by him, because you know he's going to bottle out afterwards, like all the um, interviews that he gets invited to, he always bottles out afterwards, especially like because he wants to beg for money rather than earn it from an interview or a podcast. So um, it's fucking confusing the way his mind works. But like the documentary, like if it does get get made. I wonder if we get a tour of his house. Be interesting to see his living conditions, um, and his animals' living conditions as well, because we know that it's going to be a bit shit. Uh, but the interviews is going to be interesting. I'm actually going to enjoy listening to the interviews um, of his detractors and himself. Um, so it's going to be entertaining. Anyway, um, I think that has been it for this video. Tomorrow I will be having a Chris Chan um, quickie reading video on sunday i will be having a weekly recap yes it looks like people want them back so yep that's going to be sunday so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time